Okay, so welcome to this fifth video on antibiotics targeting bacterial cell wall uh, biosynthesis. Okay, so uh, so far what we've seen is how if this is our uh, if this is our bacterial cell, we've seen how uh, bacteria synthesize UDP N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide. So that's so far what we've seen. We've seen how we synthesize uridyl diphosphate N-acetyl N-acetyl muramyl uh, pentapeptide. Muramyl pentapeptide. Okay, so that's so far what we have seen. And basically this synthesis is happening in the cytoplasm of the cell. We have also seen two antibiotics uh, which work by inhibiting the production of UDP N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide, namely phosphomyosin, which inhibits this uh, pyruvyl transferase, or uh, the N-acetyl uh, glucosamine uh, free enol pyruvate transferase, um, or uh, MUR-A, as we saw it was also called. And we've also seen uh, D-cycloserine, which works by stopping uh, the um, alanine race maze enzyme, as well as stopping the dialanyl dialanine synthetase, and as well as stopping that enzyme, which actually ligates the dialanyl dialanine onto uh, the UDP N acetyl muramyl tripeptide. Okay, so those both of those antibiotics work by stopping you from being able to make this UDP N acetyl muramyl pentapeptide. The next step that happens is uh, that this UDP N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide needs to be loaded onto the uh, inner leaflet of the phospholipid bile there. So we need to get it ready to um, transport it across the cell membrane uh, and onto the outside of the cell membrane in order to be assembled into uh, peptidoglycan, basically. So. And we're going to have a look at how this process works. So if this is the phospholipid bilayer, then basically there is a protein sitting in the inner leaflet of the phospholipid bilayer, which means this inner layer of phospholipids, which makes up the phospholipid bilayer. And the name of this um, protein is known as bactoprenol. Okay, and basically bactoprenol at the moment has a phosphate group attached to it. And uh, what's going to happen is that uh, when the, um, what, well, basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, dock this UDP N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide onto this bactoprenol uh, molecule. So, um, where shall I draw? I'm going to quickly draw the UDP N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide up here. Now, we'll denote most things by sort of cartoonish sort of style rather than um, drawing the entire structure out again. So here is our uh, initial six-membered um, glucose ring, if you like. Off here was that amino group with that acetyl group that made it originally N-acetyl here. Then off here you have the two phosphate groups leading to um, the five-membered ring of ribose. And then you have this uracil organic base over here. So that was your uh, UDP attached up here. And then down here you have uh, this, um, well, you have this uh, pyruvyl group here. So you have this methyl group off here, like so. And then you have this carboxyl group, which is then attached to this pentapeptide down here. So there's that pentapeptide thing down there. Okay, so uh, at the moment, the pentapeptide isn't important. It's going to be extremely important, but at the moment, it's fine for me just to denote it as a box. So, uh, the important thing we're going to do now is we're going to dock this molecule, this UDP N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide, onto this bactoprenol. And the way that's going to work is uh, we're going to basically cleave this bond between the first and second phosphate groups of the UDP group that is bound to this uh, N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide group here. Okay, and what we're going to do instead is the UMP, the urida uridine monophosphate, will then go off. And this phosphate group here is going to 
bind to this phosphate group over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach this phosphate group here onto this phosphate here and then the rest of the molecule is going to be just here. So we have docked our uh, UDP N-acetyl uh, muramyl pentapeptide onto the membrane of the, um, well, onto this bactoprenol protein, which is in the inner leaflet of the phospholipid bilayer. So here is our N-acetyl group here. And then here, you have this uh, pyruvyl group down here, uh, which is then bound to this pentapeptide through its carboxyl group here. Okay, so here's the pentapeptide down here. Right, okay, so that has bound basically our um, UDP N acetyl muramyl pentapeptide onto uh, the bactoprenol molecule which is suspended within the membrane. So this is getting us ready to transfer uh, this molecule onto uh, the outer leaf that basically onto the outside of the cell. Okay, right. The next thing we do is we're going to add another group onto here, okay? So we're going to basically add a UDP N-acetyl glucosamine molecule onto the hydroxyl group of this um, fourth carbon over here. Oh, sorry, not, not fourth. One, two, three. Oh, yes, fourth. We're going to add a um, UDP N-acetyl glucosamine group onto the hydroxyl group of this four car fourth carbon. Okay, so let me just remind you of the structure of UDP N-acetyl glucosamine. So in cartoon form, what we can show it as is we can show it as this um, six-membered ring, like so, with the N-acetyl group down here and that sixth carbon coming off here, and then it's attached to this UDP molecule, like so. Okay, so here is our five-membered carbon ring down here, and here is our uracil organic base over here. So, basically, what we're going to do in order to attach this UDP N-acetyl glucosamine onto this um, muramic, um, muramyl, well, this N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide group over here, is we're going to cleave off the UDP, like so. We're going to cleave off the entire UDP molecule, and we're just going to bind this, uh, this hydroxyl group that's left over here to the hydroxyl group on that fourth carbon of um, the uh, N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide group. What we're overall therefore going to get, okay, is if this is the phospholipid bilayer here, here's the inner leaflet of the phospholipid bilayer, here's the bactoprenol protein, so this is bactoprenol in the inner leaflet of the phospholipid bilayer, okay, and then there are these two phosphate groups attached to the bactoprenol group, like so. So let me move this up. Okay. And then what you have is you have this phosphate then bound to this first carbon of uh, the N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide group. And here is the N-acetyl group down here. And down here will be uh, that pyruvyl group with the pentapeptide attached to it. So let me just draw that in. Here's the pyruvyl group with the pentapeptide attached down here. Okay, and then there's a hydrogen off that carbon and the methyl group up here. And now what we've done is we have attached this uh, N-acetyl glucosamine onto uh, this N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide group here. So we've got a linker now and now it's attached to this six-membered carbon ring here, like so. Okay, and again you have this N-acetyl group here, and uh, then you have the sixth carbon going up like that, and you should have one of those off there as well. Okay, so what this is now is it's an N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide with uh, an N-acetyl glucosamine. So we might denote this N-acetyl glucosamine N-acetyl muramyl pentapeptide, so NAGNAM pentapeptide. And it's all uh, bound to this bactoprenol molecule. And basically, what's now going to happen is it's going to be transported onto the other side of the uh, membrane, onto the outer leaflet of the phospholipid bilayer, and there this is going to uh, be the monomer which we use to produce our uh, peptidoglycan.